Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Hello! Hi! Welcome! It's me, Fashile, and, uh, today, I have made the impulse decision to stream Lost Judgment, because last night, I finished Judgment 1, and I was like, damn, that was really, really cool. And I immediately started playing Judgment 2, right? So, I just finished Chapter 1, and after finishing Chapter 1, I was like, yep, I am going to stream this. Now, it's mostly going to be just a story. Um, I'm going to do a couple side things here and there. Um, but, yeah, this stream, this playthrough, is going to be mostly story. And, uh, you might be wondering, you've been touching into my streams. Oh, this is a Final Fantasy VII remake. Don't worry about that. That will be done when it gets done. But, uh, yeah. So, Lost Judgment Time, baby. Uh, this is peak. <laughs> peak Yakuza game so far. Uh, like I said, I finished up one last night. Had a great time with it. And after finishing chapter one of this, I was like, yep, I am streaming this. And so here we are. Now, these streams are going to make their way to YouTube in one way or another. So if you miss it live, you can watch it later. But yeah, with that out the way, let us play the game. And as per usual, this is a PS5 stream, so no overlay, no model, no cool, sweet, fancy stuff that happens on screen. And, uh, my first playthrough, so as you see in the stream title, no backseating. If you do that, I will ban you, okay? Okay. Ijincho, Yokohama. A harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ohara was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ahara gave the court an ominous Hey, Emma, what's up, bro? That the son he had lost was avenged. Alrighty. And let's, we're still in Yokohama. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara, age 53. Senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Saviel High. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehar has maintained his innocence. We've had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length. But it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Your Honor. In a warehouse. About three days ago. A body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshima. Wait, if he was four years ago, being detained son during this time, how the hell would he know that there was a suicide? A body there. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his Interesting. son. And to get his justice, he even I'm gonna call it on, man, that sucks. However, the court ruled that boy made the executive to no the download Elden Ring back. Uh, have fun suffering. I 
still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Stereo High himself. Are you talking about me? Yes, yes we are. I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it, especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough, and if they find out everyone already knows... <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. Ah, oh, so what a time limit, huh? If That's we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out a problem. Of sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened. Even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry. Give me one more sec. He's not a bad looking guy. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? Questioning time, baby. Talk to me. May I help you with something, Yagami-san? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... Well, this is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him, in relation to a separate investigation. What... What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? Yeah, he is kinda I'm dead. I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshiba-kun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? No. I promise. I'll tell Not you right now. everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. <sighs> Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well. Then suddenly, he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We would had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Mikoshiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us, but we've washed our hands of the matter. Pretty easy for you to do. Yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret, potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. 
But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. I'm not entirely sure which one of these would be the answer, but it's definitely not that. Uh, don't think it's the security footage. And Buddy looks pretty up there in his age, so it wouldn't surprise me if he saw this on TV as a news story. So, is it this one? Could this be what riled you up? But, but this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago. Oh shit, was I captured right? Captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all... He's the one who sued your school oh. for what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. He's right. <sighs> the police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, Wouldn't see. surprise me. Our job's to sniff out any bullying. Then you sweep it under That's the why he was so willing to just... That's simply not true. ...not do anything At about least, it. That wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was... ...painfully accurate. Every time I saw Ihara-san on TV... ...I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. Huh. That's my luck. Neat. See? Oh, I told you we should have stayed on her good side. We went on her good side from the jump, Kaito. Come on, man. So, would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect. I've got another chance to shoot my shot. This Sorry, guy. Sign, but I'm fielding this one alone. Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I yeah. don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. <laughs> All right, got a goal in mind. Faculty room is one floor below his office. So it'll be on the left side. Hello. Where was she at? I'm sorry. Did you need something, sir? Oh. Uh, is Sawa Sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her, is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I did not mean to knock her chair over.
the book have something in it? Suspicious. Uh, picture? <laughs> Wait, what's that? Wait a minute, is that... Is that hero but younger right there? Anything else I can look at? What the? Well, I figured that out pretty quickly. A thousand SP just for that? Damn. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. I have things to take care yes, of, miss. Well, I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiro Mikashiba. What? Oh shit, they all turned their heads. Oh! Oh, what does that mean? I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this Yo? was two months ago. Why do you of all people want to know? Don't worry about that right Did now. Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I, I said that's all. You know what, let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? But you were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. Clearly he didn't. He's not the type to bully then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Yeah, she she's covering something up here. Because, uh, wh where was all that fervor from earlier at, bro? Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe. Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Miko Shiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. That's you should have had crazy this long before coming now. from you. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Miko Shiba-kun, I'm gone. In that case... You've already got everything you need from me. What you covering up for, bro? You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shibakun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? Uh, the kids in the basketball club? Miko Shibakun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club. That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. I think... I think this might be a little bit of a reach. But... Could the reason that... They're bullying that poor girl so much is because somehow some kind of way she got close to him and either the girl in the middle didn't or none of them got like 
super, super close with bro. And then they went and fucked with him. And then he went off himself. I, f- I feel like that might be a little bit of a stretch. But if I happen to be right, then I'm just that guy. You know? If we're like another murder mystery. It is a murder mystery going on right now. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa sensei. Uh, just a minute. What do you want now? You don't want to talk to me. You know when I get ready to leave, you want to talk. Make up your mind, lady. Fuck. Kaito-san, you there? Tell me you're still on campus. Why? You suddenly decide you need me after all? Man, don't be like that. <laughs> You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa Sensei? You mean, did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? <laughs> so I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? All right, then. It's drone time. Thanks. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. Alrighty. Oh. Whoops. What the hell can I buy here? Hold on. Oh. And yeah, why not? What's that? Okay. Alright. Now what do I need to be looking for in here? It's a bully victim. Oh, trust me, bro. We, we, we've got the best possible notebook right here on our side. But, I mean, hey, if you want to play along and uh, write your own notes, feel free. Wait a minute, hold on. Is she on the basketball team or the club? Oh, she doesn't have a fucking note? I thought she had a note here. Well, this is... Hmm. Well, they said she was on a club, so I guess that doesn't necessarily mean the basketball team? Hmm. Alright. Close one. I almost got it. Huh? You're Kodasan from Class 2 too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I uh, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. Oh, who the hell? Oh, really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Bats? Kaito son, can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? You worried? Hey! Why are you still here, asshole? Because I got a what job to do. You anyway? Talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming. Shady old fuck! Coda! 
Hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't see anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, a student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. Yeah, okay, bro. the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. What do you mean, handicap? Sure. All good. But it's still gonna be pretty one-sided. You're so full of shit. That stance probably means I should use crane style. Or er, snake, my bad. Alright, you ready to get embarrassed again? Come on. Shit, oh that has a timing mechanic to it. Hey, wait your turn. Motherfucker, wait your turn! Damn it! Oh! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Okay. Wait your turn! Let me go, you little bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, that was my fault. Ow. You don't need that. Alright, that takes care of them. Guts for your age, kid. But come on, you really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go. Just what on earth is going on in here? They attacked me first. Hey, let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Maybe. Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit, right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. You really are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students on their school property? They swung first. I tell you to leave our school alone. For what it's worth, the chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. How should our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? Don't worry, there's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. Not the words I'd use. If I hear anything else about you, anything, I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anything. Motherfucker, I'm trying to help you! Oh, and your, and your fucking kids! Atrocious. When you show up at a school, at least try to look the part. Now go home. I don't get what Kaito sees on her, bro. You hear all that, Kaito-san? I have a funny feeling I'm not wanted here. Can I talk to the chairman real quick? My furrow, bro. What what does he see in her? 
I'm afraid Savatente has made her point clear. Perhaps it's best you take your leave. Man, fuck you. After all, you've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Okay, how about this? You can hire me on as a teacher. Huh? That way, I can stay on campus no problem, right? You don't you have a... You teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No, but I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? That's not... You're a lawyer? Wait a minute. That certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license. Yeah, no, that's not... That's not gonna work, bro. Can't we work something out? I'm afraid something isn't specific enough. Also, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, like a club advisor. Do you happen to have a kung fu club? I've got a few tricks I could show some kids. <laughs> no, there's nothing of the sort. And on that note, I believe each club already has Damn it. an advisor assigned. That's unfortunate. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for sorry, son. Suit yourself. <laughs> don't work too hard now. Anything for her. Anything. Interesting. I just want to know, like, why is Sawa so pressed? And why she got so much of a goddamn attitude about us trying to help her damn kids? And do what we got paid to fucking do, bro. Like, I understand. Like, yeah, it probably looks really, really bad that these detectives are here putting up these cameras and these speakers and yada, yada, yada. And putting the paws on kids who attack us first. But like we 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 are we already stopped, you know, one uh set of bullying from getting worse. And now we're trying to stop that from progressing and preventing another potential like suicide because of bullying. Anyway, uh -huh. stop right there. Who the fuck is huh? you? Oh, I knew it. Suspicion confirmed. Can I help you? Actually, you already have. I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again. I'm sorry, but do I? Oh, yeah. Always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime, and you just proved the old adage true, Monsieur Boyer. Motherfucker, it is not what you think it is. Monsieur Boyer, what are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs and at your age? Shame on you, sir. Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, no, you don't. I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet. You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. Oh. Okay, what is happening here? Sorry, but your evidence is my shoes? Everybody here's got shoes, you young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Where the hell did you get that from? Substance, so it lasts a few days. Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Uh... Which means you came bumbling back to the scene of the crime. Oh, this kid While knows too much, bro. <laughs> she gotta go. Already? That's 
that's what you get for crossing the Mystery Research Club of Serio High. A mystery Research Club? Now, Wait. If you'll follow me to the faculty room, Wait, no, this is our in as the advisor. Hold on, okay. This has to be. Use EX Surrend- What? I don't have that sk- I don't have that skill unlocked. Cause like, okay, with, with the options that we have right now, let's be realistic about this, right? If we run away, that's bad. <laughs> that would be very, very bad, okay? If we refute her claim, um, I'm not really sure that would be the best outcome. Cause like, if if she's like legit with this, and she can like prove it, for real, uh, we're bent. And then, um, I, I, I think that, uh, uh, um, EX Surrender probably wouldn't do it either. Uh, but, fuck it. He was about to beat this shit out of her. <laughs> Now's the time to try my new attack. Wait a minute, this is a child. <laughs> There's no escape, sir. I have even more proof of your crimes. What the hell? Oh, the camera may be gone, but fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. Okay, yeah, With you gotta that, go. I determined everything there is to know about your camera, down to the store where you bought it. Turns out it's an online exclusive, customized to capture high-resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. What the fuck? Were I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice Man. but to cooperate with a police investigation. Do I need to spell it out any further? You, monsieur, are ensnared. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. There's no way I'd have noticed an invisible substance on my shoes. I'll give you that much. But even if I did step in some mystery goop, does that really prove what you're saying? With so many people on campus, any number of them could have walked over that spot. No, only the perpetrator stepped in the coating. I know this because I was there watching your fiasco. And of course, I had the PE teacher who was with me agree to serve as witness. The fuck? Why don't you just give it up? What already? the hell? Nego negotiate what, bro? Yeah. Uh. Let's say we have a chat. A chat? Yeah. Now, I can't give out any details, but having the cops on me would be extremely problematic. So, I'd like to resolve this as amicably as possible. Think we can come to terms here? I will agree to one thing only. Hearing the unadulterated truth. And make no mistake, I will not be misled by diversion, threats, bribes, sob stories, nothing of the sort. Wait, what am I... What am I meant to do here? Uh... Um... Do I just walk away from her? Hold it right there! If you run away, my evidence goes straight to the police! Oh! Okay, well, 
What do I examine then? What's this? Hey. Oh. Oh. Well, would you look at that? You're Kyoko Amasawa-san, right? President of the Mystery Research Club? So what if I am? I saw your flyer. Sounds like your club's in a tough spot. You're not wrong. Our current advisor got married and Damn. quit teaching. And we can't find anyone else to take her spot. On top of that, the chairman's been reluctant to bring in anyone from outside. So the MRC may be in dire straits. But your arrival marks our revival! Should I turn you in as a voyeur, it would make a fine feather in my cap. It would also prove the value of the MRC, so the chairman would have no choice but to solicit an advisor for us. Well, that all sounds fine on paper, but the real-life logistics may not play out that way. You'll need a competent professional in your area of interest, but you think they have time for volunteer work? When you put it that way, it does seem like a long shot. Because it is. Right? So here's my proposition. How about you make me your advisor? You? Advise the MRC? Yeah. Why not? A Kamurocho-based detective not good enough? Uh, you're a detective? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I was asked to come investigate your school. That's about all I can let slip. <sighs> So then, the hidden camera was for your investigation? Yes. I'll let you deduce that yourself. Client confidentiality and all that. But I will say one thing. I'm here to stop shady business. Not start it. If he wasn't shooting up skirts, then what was he trying to see? Rather, who was he trying to see? Who put him up to it? Our staff? Ugh, so many variables! Listen, I don't mean to interrupt, but... Hello? As I was trying to say, becoming your advisor could work out well for both of us. I'm not done here by a long shot, but one of your teachers is bent on seeing me gone. Really? Who? Sawa-sensei. She thinks I have no business being here, and frankly, it's been hard to prove her wrong. But, if I were to advise your club, it'd be all the reason I need to stay on campus. So what do you think? It's a win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if it's experience yeah. you want, believe me, I've been around the block when it comes to mysteries. I... believe I understand. The purpose you stated for being here does fit the circumstances better than my original theory. But, I will not be persuaded so easily. So, I propose a test. What kind of test? Test? Right this way, please. Oh, Christ. What? Hey! How the hell are you taking me? Can I get something from the soda machine? God damn it. The fuck is this? Is this a... Uh, who's this, Bubba? sis? This is Yagami-san, our new advisor candidate. However, I intend to test him first. See if he's legitimate. Hmm. Eh, fine by me. I'm Kento Amasawa, Yoko's younger brother. Also the MRC's bodyguard. You're a bodyguard? Your sister's as nosy as mine. You've got to step up your game to keep her safe. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. Okay. After you. Oh, shit. Oh, how kind of you. Thanks. So, Amasawa-san, back to the topic at hand here. Oh. 
So, getting back to this test of yours. Ah, uh, yes. So, based on what you've told me, I'm inclined to drop your charges altogether. A detective setting up cameras is... believable. That being said, I'd also be a fool to take you at your word. Oh, God. If this is a ruse, I'd be unleashing a pervert on the school. Well, the caution is admirable. Then you shouldn't mind if I test both your skills as a detective and your character as a person. And once that's over, the club will reach a decision. We'll either accept you as our mentor, or turn you in as a deviant. I get the picture. So what does this test entail? Actually, we've been dealing with a rather risky case as of late. So your job is to resolve it. You gonna pay me? How risky are we talking? Well, it's about as risky as it is risque. Yagami-san, have you ever heard of a sugar baby? Unfortunately. Huh? You mean a younger girl getting paid to date an older guy? You know it. Now our current case involves one such sugar baby. It seems that one of our dance club girls has grown a reputation for dating older men. Unfortunately, I've yet to pin down exactly who this is. All you know is she's in dance club? Well, I understand why you'd want to know more, but what about this warrant's investigation? Is she in danger? The issue at hand is that she may be doing more than dating, and it's putting her safety at risk. How do you know this? Well, we found this out online, so we're admittedly speculating a bit here. But apparently this girl's pretty infamous for what they call her vanishing act. Hmm. Care to elaborate? She strings the mark along, going on a few dates for an agreed-upon sum, but then she goes in for the kill. She gets a large upfront payment for promising to seal the deal. Oh, so she ghosts people. Poof, gone with the wind. Okay, I can see how that might make her enemies, but that's on the guy, isn't it? I mean, he's paying to date an underage girl, and he thinks he has the right to complain? You're not wrong. Problem is, her latest mark, a violent, foul-mouthed thug, Oh. isn't so self-aware. I believe rape and murder were his choices. Oh. So yeah, we can't just write this one off. Oh, yeah. That's a concern. Mm-hmm. And now he has his gang roaming the streets, searching high and low for the girl who conned him. I'd say that establishes the risk clearly enough. As soon as we found out, we've been trying to find the sugar baby and warn her ASAP. Yeah, I get it now. If we don't act, she could be in very real danger. I think we're finally seeing eye to eye, Yagami-san. After all, the truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. That's not quite how it works, but sure. Could you tell me what the Mystery Research Club actually does? It seems like the advisor ought to know that. <clears throat> so... I founded the Mystery Research Club last year. Primarily, we function as a book club, critiquing mystery novels from many different cultures and eras. But, when the opportunity is ripe, we also engage in more involved activities. And by that, I mean solving the mysteries around us. Oh, you mean go sleuthing, like on a case. So that's what you were up to. I've gotta say, as a potential advisor, I'm not exactly psyched to hear you go around looking for trouble. Yeah, and that's the problem, kid. Oh. Also, the reason her voice sounds familiar is because uh, she voiced a lot of games, a lot of animes. She voices a character in Scarlet Nexus. She voices Altina, that silver-haired, green-eyed girl from the trailers games I've been playing. You've definitely heard her voice before. Don't get me wrong. We don't do this for kicks, and I'm not a fan of danger. If we could all be armchair detectives, free to investigate from afar, surely that would be ideal. Yeah, don't I know it. Unfortunately, that is rarely, if ever, possible. Say our investigatory senses were to draw us toward a mystery that escapes even the school and the police. Why, letting such a case slip away would be anathema to our club's founding principles. While I do admire your passion, why put yourself at risk? You'd be safer handing it off to the authorities. Then shouldn't we hand you off to the authorities? Fuck you. Well, no, let's not be hasty. I take it you see my point then. 
Some cases aren't so cut and dry. You make some valid points. All right. In any case, now that the situation's clear, I'd like to get on with the test. Just tell me where to start, and I'll be there. It is said that the great Sherlock Holmes was able to freely change his appearance into that of a total stranger. From helpless old woman to shifty-eyed vagrant, he deceived the masses and never lost a lead, all thanks to a good disguise. So, you want me to go undercover? Yep. Any detective worth their salt should have no trouble with that. You're going to infiltrate the dance club as an advisor and return with a lead on the sugar baby. That is your test. Wait, you want me to teach a dance club? <laughs> if it's required, then yes. I want you to win their hearts in ways I myself could not. Those girls are a close-knit group. They'd never trade gossip with someone like me. However, if a cool new stranger gained their trust, that's you, they might be more willing to talk. But how am I supposed to be a convincing advisor if I've never danced once in my life? That's okay. It's rare for their advisors to get up and do it themselves. They generally teach from a book. Oh, great. If it's any consolation, their current advisor never even shows up. So, you'll Damn. already have an in. Just give them a few pointers, act authoritative, and soon enough, you'll be their closest confidant. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? To teach something I know nothing about? I'm sure you can You gotta figure it out one way, Yagami. That is, if you really are a detective and not some snaky imposter. <sighs> You're really putting me through the ringer, you know that? I guess I'll have to prevail with the power of vague advice. Good, then let's move. The dance club will be starting their practice any minute. They're in the gym basement, in case you didn't know. I know her test might be tough, Yagami. Your gym has a basement? I think you'd make a pretty rad advisor. My school so gym didn't luck. have a fucking basement. Huh? Oh. Alright, onwards. You moving a little too slow for me, bro. That item will be there later. Hmm. What the Here's hell is the Captain? Ah, uh, right there. Hmm. <sighs> Something's not right. I feel so out. Maybe you don't teach dancing out of a Sayabai fucking book. Mishizono. I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you? Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh great, the MRC. Oh boy. What do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down, I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. What are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah... Apparently, he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Damn, F and Jeff, bro. Right. And it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Yeah, and we've got a meet coming up soon. It's so much pressure. I see. Then the stars really did align in your favor. Um, what? Listen, Senpai, I know we might seem desperate, but it's not like we need any favors. Yes, you do. Don't worry, you don't owe me for this. I'm offering you a potential advisor as a token of goodwill. A potential advisor? <laughs> Let's not sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yagami-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. Help with the routine? What the fuck? When did I ever say that? Oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed. You know, I can you tell love you a fucker. certain something about you. So how long have you been a pro dancer? I am not a pro dancer. <laughs> oh, oh, so am 
goddess. This is like one of those dream come true moments in a movie. I've been literally racking my brain trying to come up with a workable routine. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 whoa. time out. Man, this, this is, is going along crazy. so fast. Yagami-san. This is your Reichenbach Falls moment. What the fuck? You need to dive How do you know that? The challenge. Don't you get it? Uh, no. Um, do you think we can get started? We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A game. But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? That wow factor. It's really kind of down to the wire to be figuring this stuff out, but I know we'll push through if we try. Uh-huh. So can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on, or...? Uh, you know... Your routine is going completely different. This shit sucks. I shouldn't have to say this, but keen observation is elementary for a detective. And? And you need to tell them what you observed. You did have your eyes open, didn't you? Oh. Uh oh. Interesting. Isn't your routine a little tame? Maybe you could spice it up a bit. Uh, spice it up how exactly? You mean like we need? No, 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 no! Jesus Christ, like no! We dance all provocatively what part of this is a high school are you serious is that what that meant uh yeah sometimes i just say things no hell no i think your performance could use a little more flair that's the kind of answer i was hoping that was gonna be well you're already in perfect sync and everyone knows their part but, how to put it, you were right. It needs something that's going to leave a lasting impact. I see what you mean. Maybe we are just kind of going through the motions here. If only we could come up with better stuff. Oh, maybe you could give us some suggestions. Oh. But let's take apart what could give you the edge you need. The robot? Really? That's really an option? Okay, anyway. Why not incorporate Kung Fu? Uh, did you just say did... Kung Fu? Yes. Sure did. Throw a few kicks and punches, but knock the That's a Yagami right ass out. answer. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And it's not like martial arts based dancing is entirely unheard of. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Well, you're in luck. Kung Fu happens to be a hobby of mine. Oh, no way! Yeah, that's your so entire cool. fucking fighting well, style. It's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls. It's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? I guess I'm gonna have to. Sweet! Then let's get a quick demonstration. <laughs> let's see some ass-kicking dance then. <laughs> Wait, really? I really have to do this? Of course. How else are we going to learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. I'm going to teach these kids how to be fucking killers. So you're not going to help us after all? That's pretty weak. If you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Hold it. You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. I've never done this before, though, so 
Don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Okay, what we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure, good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. <sighs> In there, now you take it away. Oh, you didn't Not show me time. anything. But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? Oh boy. EX solos? The hell? Uh Alright. can dance. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. Interesting. Okay, Yagami. Yagami -san, you're officially the best. <laughs> wow. Skill and part pulling out of your ass. I don't think a seasoned athlete could pull that off. Yagami san, that was incredible. You're not just a pro, you're a master. Well, let's go. <laughs> Bullshitting <laughs> word. <laughs> no way an amateur moves like that. You're something else. Maybe you don't realize it, but you have a gift for this. You're totally a born dancer. <laughs> I don't know about all that. What you call a gift, I call muscle memory. Whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine, if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami-san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointers sometime? Ever since our advisor stopped showing, we've barely been keeping it together. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. If you guys will have me, Am I actually sure. gonna be the fucking dance advisor? Sure, I have many points <laughs> left. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagmi san. Huh? Oh, shit, sure. that's a uh, success in my book. Damn. So, did I pass? I'd say I made plenty of headway with the dance club. Indeed, you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Nishizono san over. Every time I try to approach her, she reacts like I'm there to accuse her of something. Gee, I wonder why. I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up Wait, with us. Wait, I oh, I'm amazing can't now. advise with two Does clubs at the I'm same no time, can I? That's usually not how yeah, that works. I really should apologize for that at some point. You can apologize right now. Also, I have another theory as to why you installed that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, and your objective here starts taking shape. I need you to stop thinking. You know too but, much. But, I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours. So for now, I'll let that theory sit. 
At any rate, Yagami-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. That is to say, I'll formally request you as our advisor. Well, that'd be great. But do you really think you'll hire me just like that? Sure. So long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor, I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, but that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Interesting. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. Anyway, is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. The chairman actually Watch promised be fucking to sign sour. up with whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance, and it's a pleasure to be on board. Well, that oh, worked out way better than moment, what I thought it would. Could you join us in the club room for a talk? I'd like your advice on another case we're monitoring. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes. And this one may actually be even nastier. What do you mean by that? In fact, the sugar baby may be but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracies. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point. Oh, ah. well, this is nice. Oh. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Yagami-san. I guess so. I'm sorry. Either way. Yes. Well. Yagami-san. So, to sum it up... No... Well... <sighs> yes! Hmm? Unbelievable. No... Huh. Yes. I see. 
Hey! Right. Well... <laughs> if I were to guess... Yes. Now that you mention it. So that's like a lot of stuff. And I'm I'm definitely gonna be doing it, but I'm probably not gonna do it all on stream. Cause like I said at the beginning of this one, I just want this playthrough to be mostly story. I will do some of them, but I will figure all that out when I get there. I got SP just for having a conversation? Wow. Alright. Uh. What is. Oh, where's the dance club? I wanna do that one real quick. That's what I need to go for story purposes. This was a MRC room. I don't need to be here. Unless I have to talk to her to get to the dance club? Yagami-san. Okay, no, I don't. Was it this way? Oh yeah, it was here. Gonna have to remember that. And the room was here? Yeah. Ishizono. Ah. Yeah. <sighs> hmm? Gotcha. The end of the song. Tell me I gotta do a whole song now? It's a pleasure. Got a song in mind? Extra easy, easy, normal, hard? Man. I play DDR, bro. I got this. Go ahead and pick a costume. Which stuff should we work on?
Go ahead and pick got a song in mind. Okay, let's go. This can't be that hard, right? Okay, I slipped up here and there, but I still got it. I still got it. I'm him. Hey, we're looking good. Song level. Do I have to play the song over and over and over again and max out and then get the next song? So I guess as long as I pass it at the clear mark, they don't really care about the yeah. grade. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Who the hell is this? Psychachan. Bryce Pappenbrook again? Ah. Ah. Hey, hey. Huh? Yes. Psychachan. Hmm. Hmm? You don't have to scream. We're indoors. Are you serious? <laughs> I see. I guess I do it with a song again. Got a song in mind? Which steps should we work on? How do I get more of these? Got a song in mind? Okay. Dance. What the? Why are they with me?
Oh, oh shit, all right. missed one at the very end god damn it but okay that was cool wait so the more that meter fills up does that mean the more of them join me during the songs Ask her just yeah, I'll get that meter fill, then I'll ask her. Do it one more time. Oh no, I have to ask her. Okay, never mind. Hey. Huh? Yeah. You know? Nah. Hmm. Yes. Okay. One more time. Got a song in mind? Okay, let's go. Oh, I was absolutely right about that meter. Okay. Let's go. Watch that not be a S though. Fuck. <laughs> hey, that should be fine now, right? Okay, team. Yeah. Yes. Hmm? Does that mean? Yes. Hmm. I see. Yes. Saikachan. I mean, I guess the right move would be to go now? 
right? But after this, back to the main story, for sure. Yeah. Which song, though? Let's freaking dance! Y'all be fine. You guys. Okay, team. Smile, spirit, spunk. Go! Up the steps and out of the loop! I got this. Oh. I didn't... Oh.
I didn't. <laughs> I I'm not gonna lie. That actually caught me off guard. Thinking I have to actually play it. <laughs> Crushing it. Did you see that, Yagami-san? Let's go, dude. We did it. What? Ha! You love to see it. You really do love to see it, bro. Wait. She's about to be heartbroken. Hmm? Norizuki san. <laughs> Damn. Huh? Right. Excuse me. What oh, deal? Yeah? Are they competing for the same dude? Hey. Huh? Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. How much SP do I have? A lot. Uh, let's see. I want.
I guess I'll save the rest of what I have. Okay, back to story things. Hey guys, how we all doing? Sweating it out on some layups? Uh, who are you? My name's Yagami. I've been the MRC's advisor for all of a couple minutes, and I need to ask the basketball club a few questions. Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but he was enthusiastic. Yeah, I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, from class 2-2? Two -two? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakami, oh God. anyone. Something special about class 2-2? Two -two? <laughs> well, yeah. Koda's in 2-2, two -two, and she was Mikoshiba sensei's So they were pupil. close. I was right on that part. Star pupil. I do know who you're talking about, by the way. Are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way. Mikoshiba sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. Uh huh. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikoshiba sensei knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like the model instructor. Ah, eh, if you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Huh? Oh. Mikoshiba sensei might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Oh. Like, he, he let his shoot and then go. Okay. See? That was how not. He let his uh, passion for mm, coaching go bad. a little too far? He was doing it because he cared, I think. Hey, wasn't Mikoshiba sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? Hey, what you mean by that? <laughs> he said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. Oh, no. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. It's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's Hello? Fair. Anyway, when Mikoshiba sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikoshiba sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Yeah, people like to gossip, but so that's why they're where there's smoke calling her a slut. Fire. <laughs> Maybe Kodasan's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> that's not funny, y'all. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, are we about done here? Last thing, where are Kodasan and the others? Are they off in this late? No. Everyone's usually here by now. Huh. Maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay. I hope but I not. I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? I am very worried for her safety. I, I got a haul ass, bro. Wait, why did it take me? What? Wait, why? Hmm? Oh no. You spacing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. Oh, you god damn it. Who gave you permission to quit, anyway? Newsflash, you're nothing without the club. Yeah, think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. 
doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? How? She's you done nothing to show that, though. Fair? This fucking guy. Why is your dirty old ass still here? Attention, students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms! If I were you, I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? I'm Yagami, from the Yagami Detective Agency. And your chairman just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Bullshit. I True. guess word hasn't gotten around. Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now, then. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> bitch. better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and, uh, break a leg out there. Matsu. Not very nice, are they? Are you alright? I'm fine. You say that. Kora-san, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective. And I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. He started training as a teacher here pretty recently, right? And one day he just stopped showing up? At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why... Why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close. At least at practice. They said that? The more this goes on, the more questions that I have, and I don't like them. I don't like them at all. This is, uh, I hope this isn't going to go in the direction that I think it's going to go, but, uh, only time will tell, and me pressing this X button will also tell. Well... I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. Huh? Earlier today, it was your voice that I heard, wasn't it? Maybe. I just never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But you could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. But then today, something changed. Leave her alone. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. That first voice, the one that told them to stop. That was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? <laughs> Who could say? I knew it. It was you. Thank you so much for that. Today was eye-opening. I never realized... I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact, I finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did. Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. I used to read this manga that made it look so cool. In a comic, even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. I tried. I wanted it to work. Even if all they did was tear me down. But today... I just up and quit. That's not cool at all, is it? You did nothing wrong, Kodosan. Truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. 
And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than be part of the solution. The kind of people who only feel joy when they see others in pain. You can only do so much to make people see the light. At some point, you've just got to let them go. You know what I mean? Then there's no shame in quitting. But Yagami-san, I think you can only say that because you're such a strong person. Hmm. Okay. In that case, we won't call it quitting. Huh? You can play. It doesn't have to be with the basketball club. If you practice, you wouldn't even need a school basketball club to get to where you want to be. If this sport is what you want to do with your life, I guarantee you there's going to be a path for you to take. And all you have to do is find that path. I mean, it's got to be out there. And then you don't have to call it quitting. I don't know about that. Are you sure? I mean... Wouldn't that be cheating? <laughs> Come on, try to work with me here. So... The MRC. You're the advisor? Yagami-san? Yeah. If you need anything, you just let us know. Anything at all. For example, if you hit any more trouble with those basketball club kids, you find me. Sure. You've got this. Mr. Detective. What? Yagami-san, right? What the fuck do you yeah. want? Shouldn't you be at practice with everyone else? Yeah, well, remember Matsun and Sakaki? You know, the two other guys I'm always hanging around? They're ready to talk to you about Mikoshiba-sensei now. Huh. Well, Detective, I think they have a lead for you. I don't like that look on your face, gang. I really don't. Hey. You're here on some kind of case, right? You don't need to know that. You know, Mikoshiba sensei talked to us pretty often. I think maybe we can help. No. That is, if you wouldn't mind starting fresh with all of us. No, fuck you. Oh. Turning over a new leaf, are we? We kinda have to. How else are we gonna get good college recommendations? You're not going to college, don't lie to yourself. Us in the ass if you went and narked on us, so... Will you at least hear us out? Matsun and the rest are just upstairs. This is such a fucking Please, setup, bro. Be a nice guy. We're really sorry. No. Okay. I see where this is going. How many guys are up there waiting to jump me? The next floor up is for third years, right? You rope some of your senpais into this too? Wow. You don't even know us and you're throwing out accusations like that? You attacked me twice. Technically three times if we include the restaurant shit. How are we supposed to become upstanding citizens with teachers like this? It's just not fair. Shut up. Fine. I'll hear you out. Tell your friends I'm on my way. Really? Awesome. <laughs> wow. That is actually, like, sad, bro. Okay, let's go put the paws on these stupid kids again. Hello? Oh. Over here, Yagami-san! Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. I fucking knew it, bro. You wanted to talk to me? About Mikoshiba-sensei? What? 
I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over. <laughs> man. <laughs> Y'all think y'all slick, huh? Ooh, they got the kendo sticks out too this time. So many of you. Wow! You guys all know Mikoshiba Sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends roll. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon. Ah. Oh. So now you want to mess oh, around yeah. with gangs and shit too? I got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with. And they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also, we've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liu Mong name if I need him to handle some business. Really? So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? That is like so many it's different like crimes, bro. <laughs> Don't talk to me like you know me. Wow. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. I'll keep that in mind. But I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You sure about that? Get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liomon, and they'll take that personally. Really? You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? Do you know who I am, bro? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. How about I just oh, yeah. feed you all your teeth? How much are we talking here? Grand? A mil. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. And I can hook you up with these I hands. I lens for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this. I'm gonna start treating you like one. Huh? You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you want to do that? We're gonna charge you extra. Go, go, go ahead. Oh, you got this shit. Go yeah, ahead. Matsui. Fuck around and find out. Cause all <laughs> y'all about to find down. out, bro. Fuck him up. Watch out, bro. Next. Really, guys? Ah, oh, my eyes. Cheap shot. <laughs> Can't see. Got you now. No, you don't. Huh? Dumbass. Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you got this in the bag. Yeah. Keep uh, telling yourself that. Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around. Oh the God, coolest. shut up! Well, all for my adorable little underlings.
Huh. So it looks like I have to have some more sneaking I gotta do, or I gotta uh, pick them all off one by one. Either method is fine with me, to be honest. Is that a stamina X waiting for me over there? I think it is. No, it was a toughness. Alright, time to go on down. Tastes good, senpai? Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? What's up, bitch? <laughs> so you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Okay, I'm on it. <sighs> Christ. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? I mean, either way, it's more SP for me in my book. Hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners. And I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding. Not really. <laughs> now what? And that mouth of yours won't get you out of this. I'm taking you down! Uh-huh. Go ahead and try. Don't give me that smug look. Here we go. You know what? I'm not even warmed up. Slow down, bro. You personally, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do better than that. Come on. Little bastard. Jeez. This guy's a maniac. You want to keep fighting? I can do that all day. So good at this, man. I've been fighting hey, my whole life. You mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. That still sound like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. Could you maybe... Forget all that? No. Then from here on out, we're buds, right? Ow! Ah, my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell say me sorry. you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? Hey, they bossed up to the wrong guy. And that's what they get. Mikoshiba sensei showed up to practice like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do like 10 sets of cross court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant 10 more for all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. And so that's why they bullied her? Especially harsh on her then. Yeah, because she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. 
You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey, you think maybe Koda did it? Are you serious? Some kind of crime of passion? I ought to smack you. This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Uh, nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa sensei yet? Probably knows Mikoshiba Sensei better than anyone. She kind of hates me. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher, and that he looked out for you guys out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? What you mean by that? Why? Something off about that? Uh, it's just Sawa Sensei was really cold to him, no matter what he did. Why? She brought that up to him one day. And it turns out the rumors were right. What rumors? rumors? That he actually bullied I mean, someone in the dog. One of his classmates apparently committed suicide, and Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. Damn! I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa Sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully. Oh yeah, I actually asked him about it once, but. He just laughed it off. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba kun was a good student. Oh, Lord, hold on, wait, let me pause. Hey, what's up? What's uh, what's going on? Thank you for the raid, Blaze. What's popping? How you doing? If you don't know who I am, it's me for Shile. Normally, normally, I'd be shaving off my laptop. With my my model and my overlay and all this cool fancy stuff, but uh, that's not happening. I'm streaming right off my PS5. We are playing Lost Judgment, the sequel to Judgment. And had I not been so impressed with Chapter One, like two hours ago, I would not be streaming this game right now. <laughs> I finished Judgment one last night. Actual like really really good. Uh, another entry into the Pikuza series, the Yakuza series, even though the Judgment Games are a spinoff. But, uh, I am also a VTuber. I usually, usually, play stuff like JRPGs and action games. This is an action game I'm playing right now. And I'm fairly confident that I'm getting to the end of Chapter 2, because I've been doing this for uh, almost... Two hours and like ten minutes or so. But anyway, thanks for the raid. Uh, hello, raiders. How you doing? Uh, if you enjoy the show, if you like my voice, I highly recommend you stick around. And uh, yeah, keep hanging out with me. Um, now, let me see if my shout out thing actually works. Because I keep trying to configure this thing. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it worked. All right, amazing. Lovely. Uh, I don't remember if I asked you what you were playing already, but what were you playing? What were you getting into? Back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it. Spirit Fair, I have heard bits and pieces about that game before what exactly is that about because i see i saw it i told myself i would get it and then i didn't get it but it's on my list of things to get eventually also according to obs or my ads manager obs our ads are going to be starting like like 13 or so minutes just as a warning I gotta go down? Yeah, second floor, okay. But I hope you had a good time uh, engaging with that. Alright, Teach, speak up. Yeah, of course, she's not here again. Let's 
It's a comfy indie game where you play as the Undertaker and take your spin. Oh, okay. That sounds really, really cool. Oh yeah, cause I saw, I saw like, like five seconds of it on TikTok, and I was like, that looks neat. I'm gonna get that at some point. And that some point has not come up yet. <laughs> But that sounds like a, a a nice experience for a game. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. Oh god damn it. It is a bit of a sad game if you enjoy the storytelling aspect of it, but also plays comfortably if you like games like Stardew. Uh I see. Like I'm not going to say that I dislike games like Stardew and Animal Crossing. They're just... What phrase am I looking for? Not my speed? I guess? But like... I mean, I'll play it. I just probably wouldn't spend an entire day playing it. So then she's at his office? Yes. But I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. But I'll I'll still look into it. Well, nobody's necessarily looking at me, so I'm gonna mess with this photo. I mean, I kind of need you to do that a little fast. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, who the fuck is this kid? Interesting. All right. Yeah, uh... Oh, actually... Speaking of indie games and stuff like that, I meant to talk about this earlier, but now I have like the perfect excuse to go on about it for at least a few minutes. Um, uh, so if, if anyone out there has been keeping up by even like the smallest margin with all the... Oh, cutscene. Wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so if anyone's been keeping up, maybe even the smallest margin, with, uh, the strikes and things of that nature that's been going on, um, it's pretty much all but confirmed that there's gonna be a, uh, uh, a video games strike in conjunction with all the sag after stuff, and there is a list of stuff that's going around with like a list of games and a list of companies uh that the strike would be against and whatever and um it's the whole like uh if you care about the strikes or whatever or you don't want to i forget the terminology that i saw earlier but pretty much if you don't want to go against the strike don't play such and such and such and such and such and such at least as far as streaming it and making videos of it, etc., etc., and uh, I guess that unsurprisingly, because the average gamer and content creator doesn't really care about workers' rights and being paid fairly and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people have been like, "I'm not gonna listen to this because this is dumb." Or this and this and that, and how does me, uh, not, you know, choosing not to not play a game affect other people, uh, and people just being like, yeah, fuck the strike, strike doesn't matter to me, yada yada yada, right? And with this list that I've been seeing go around, I have once again <laughs> been la been pointing and laughing at people who go on about, oh my god. 
oh, there's so many things on this that I that I can't play, and there's no games to play, and this and this and that, and this is dumb, and this is restrictive. And I'm just looking at it, or well, myself and several other people are looking at the people complaining about it like, man, y'all need to play more games. Y'all need to go play an indie game. Or, you know, like 20 indie games. Or go play something that's, you know, not like in AAA, whatever, whatever. And it's not going to kill you to play something different for however long the strike may be. Because it, at the time of me saying this, it's not in effect yet. But it had like a like a 98.7 something uh, agreement. And like I said, it's all but happened. But in light of seeing people be like, oh my god, I don't have anything to play. Or I can't play anything. And then it'd be like, oh, well, go play like this indie game or that indie game or something that's not by this company. And I'm once again seeing people like hate on and rag on and like spit on like indie games. Because thanks to people's favorite games, journalism publication website they're like oh well you know indie games are bad because this company said it's bad and they said that's boring and that's overdone and blah 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 and it's another series of misinformed people willfully misinformed people going on and being like indie games ain't shit because such and such and such and such said so and complain that they have no games to play, even though there is a a large, large world of games out there. Like, the only thing that uh, affects, and I, and I say this in extreme air quotes, affects me, as far as streaming goes, was Spider-Man 2, right? Because I was going to stream that, but, I mean, with it being on a list, and the strike all but confirmed, I can wait a little bit. You know, I'm not going to be pressed about it. You know, I got I got Judgment. I got 7 Remake. I got so many other games that I can play. But seeing people be all mad about, oh, there's nothing to play because it is Strike, and I'm not going to listen anyway, and it's not going to affect me, which, to be fair and charitable to those people, a lot of the people that's saying that's not going to affect them are not going to go into the industry, they're not going to join any unions, and even if they were, and they were questioned about it, they'd probably lie in the first place, so it wouldn't affect them in that manner, but still, it's like, damn, can you people care just a little bit, have the smallest margin of concern in your hearts, because I've been seeing a lot of takes on it, and... To some reason, just they don't care about the strike and the people affected by said strike. And it's a situation of my entertainment is more important than people being paid a living wage. But yeah, the the, the indie the indie conversation that we had just now reminded me of that. Because I I hate seeing people spit on indie games because indie games especially as of recent time, have been beyond fucking goaded. Exceedingly so. But because it's not bought, it's not done by some high-tier company or some high-tier uh, publisher, most people just look the other way and be like, I, p I spit on you because you're not some high-budget thing. And... People are going to be in for like a real crazy awakening when, well, I mean, it's not a matter of when because AAA games have already been on the decline for the most part across the board. It's not so much a Western thing anymore. It, it's some, some Eastern games that are AAA have kind of fumbled a little bit here and there, but, and, and I mentioned this in my video essay that I did where the people that play the AAA stuff all the time, they need to play something else. Because they're the ones being like, oh my god, gaming is boring, gaming is dead. It's like, bro, maybe if you stop playing fucking Valorant all day, 
or you stop like drooling at the mouth every time fucking Activision or hell even Sony is like, hey, here's our big schlocky AAA thing that's gonna convince people that it's the best thing since sliced bread because we pay all these companies and these publications to be like this is the best thing ever. Maybe if you play something else, like I don't know, like a Trails or. Hell, go play Dust in Elysian Tale. Go play Hollow Knight. Go play The Binding of Isaac. Go play a Stardew Valley. Go play a Sunhaven. Go play something that isn't the goddamn norm. But what, what do I know? You, you know what do what do we in chat know as people with refined gaming palettes? People who don't just play the same shit from the same people all the time, right? And yeah, it's 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 a lot of people being so far beyond selfish like like at a stratospheric level type of selfish because they're just like oh it doesn't affect me so i don't care like it, in one way or another it will because with all these people that are about to go on strike with this whole video game thing that means no one's gonna be writing the games that means no one's gonna be making the games that means no one's gonna be voice acting the games that means the games are gonna get delayed and if all that stuff takes place, guess who that affects? You and your entertainment at the end of the day. But anywho, I'm glad that that got brought up because it reminded me of something that I wanted to talk about on stream, at least today, and then cut that up for YouTube later. Because I often have to get back to cutting up um, the first half of of Shima did the other day where I was ranting about how fucked up the students are and how fucked up the education system is. And that's like an hour plus and I got to subtitle that whole damn thing and also have to finish editing our, our Pokemon Club video. I, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to work on. But anyway, main thing out the way. So now we continue judging people. And also, I kept hitting the snooze button while I was talking, but the ads are actually going to start in about five minutes. Oh, shit. Who is that? Pardon. Who the fuck are you? Stone-faced ass nigga. Wait, what is, uh, -san. what is this about? Those men are with the Kanagawa police. Fuck. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshi. Why are they here? Who tipped them off? And they asked to see Sawa Sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? Can I? You were asking questions about Mikoshibukun as well. Am I allowed to do that now? What you want? I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. Fuck. I mean, their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. The police being here makes Shibukun our job so much harder. No longer with us, is he? No. And it's just as I feared. Oh boy. Keep looking at me crazy. Watch what's gonna happen. Oh shit, that's the end of chapter two. Bet. Moving right along to chapter three. Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered. And Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny.
They're probably trying to make her shut the fuck up. Because uh, we saw it. Well, I mean, I say we, but when I say we, I mean I, because my Judgment 1 playthrough was pretty much all by myself, right? But, like, you know, once again, you know, corrupt fucking cops are some of the worst people you could ever deal with in your fucking life, let me tell you. But I wouldn't be surprised if that interview was, like, a way to intimidate her to not say shit to Yagami. Even though she already hates us for no reason. She already hates us. She probably has, like, an external oppressive force, I guess, to tell her to not say shit. I don't know yet. Yagami-san. Boo. Why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I was just I doing my damn job. Later. Then you knew Mikoshipakun was murdered, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. And that's why you've been snooping around our school. Absolutely. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? <sighs> Listen, lady, I'm just trying to get to the end of this. Like most other people would be right now if you knew mikoshiba was murdered why didn't you tell me up front because i didn't have the clearance because to that do so information's not public didn't that the too police asked you to keep quiet about it well yes but even so what sort of questions were they asking you anyway i thought i was supposed to keep quiet cute now i'm going to ask you one last time Please stay off our campus. No. You don't belong here. I'm actually the club advisor and now. What if you end so... up injuring a student? Haha. <laughs> it would be a nightmare for all of us. Thank you for the follow. Pop no tarts. Welcome to Cryptlurk team. Happy to have you here. Hope you enjoy your stay. I have seen you and plenty of people's chats actually. Uh ads are gonna start in like fifteen seconds though. Just just so you all know. Nobody's getting injured. Coming all from Shadows Raid, injured. I am happy to have you here Is all the so? same. Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So, it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? Today. I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Miko Shibakun. That he's no longer a missing person. What is that little dead. dino icon by your he name was mean? In a derelict building. GlitchCon 2020. Like I wonder what that was like. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Well, yeah, that's that police like for you. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Is there yeah, anything I mean. else? Actually, there is. I'd like to know your thoughts on Miko Shibakun's killer. What? I had to go to a stream to get For it? For example, take Akihiro Oh, Ibarra, so it wasn't... A man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Interesting. Miko Shiba came up even then. As a culprit bearing I some responsibility for that. I thought it was a nice little convention. Ihara-san? The virtual Twitch con back in 2020. Incident at the train station. Oh, I, I guess it wouldn't be an actual convention because that was sealed. peak pandemic. Must you always be so cryptic? I have to, I'm a detective. Harasan had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. Yeah, how the fuck did he this know that? The I, I can't I can't wait to get to the point where I find out or how we find out how the fuck a horror knew that man's was gonna be dead while he was behind bar two months. For fucking groping. Body. I, I I can't wait to is know really how he knows that. A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get. Right. But he could be connected somehow. Was he getting calls from somebody how on the outside you know or something? This, Yagami -san? I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards. So now it's your turn. Uh, uh -oh, huh? I dropped my controller. I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Miko Shiba as you led me to believe. Showed up, grabbed it, and did. Hey, I don't blame you. <sighs> This From what man. I've heard, TwitchCon is you knew he was a bully not a very good convention. Yesterday, you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get and the things. Here. I, I can't remember the name of the phrase or whatever law that is, 
but uh whatever can go wrong at twitchcon always goes wrong at twitchcon did you have a sudden change of heart or were you lying to me for some reason oh, she was absolutely it's not that simple lying. oh one more thing i learned today it was miko shiba who turned the basketball club against kodasan pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher don't you think that's enough then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago. And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on. Right? She absolutely does. This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. Yeah, we certainly know that from Judgment 1. Please play Judgment 1, by the way. His name was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ahara. Wasn't an avoid when I am back. Okay, great. Happy to have you back. All I heard was whatever can go wrong. So okay. <laughs> yeah, because like how since as, as at least as long as I've been kind of keeping up with it, um, since the convention's inception, every year something really, really, really bad happens as like the crux of everything and then like a myriad of bad incident after bad incident after bad incident like um i think last year they had the problem of uh like the partner party or something and then i i can't say i think but i'm pretty sure and i i and, and, I, I hate that I'm able to, like, say this, but I'm pretty sure someone got assaulted at TwitchCon 2 in the year before that. Well, not the year before that, but the ones before that one, and, ugh. Something bad always happens at TwitchCon. It doesn't appeal to me like other conventions I've been to, just good for me, no folks, and sightseeing, and that's, but, yeah, like, they really hype up TwitchCon to be this, like, really great and awesome thing, but it's... Is not, not really. And again, it's not your average convention that people would go to for stuff like that. But, and you are right for the networking part. Uh, but, eh. Plus, like, it's also no hidden secret that a lot of the what, what am I looking for? Prominent. TwitchCon people are really, really shit people outside of the screen, you know? The con is fine, but the extra events are not, absolutely. Folks, when I saw someone, I woke up. Yeah, that, I, I hate when that happens, too. Because, like, like, he's just another statistic. Like, why, why would you go to a convention and sake. do Take that kind right. of shit? Right. I'm sorry. It's why, like, <laughs> at, at, uh, at my local convention that I will be going to in about a little bit less than two months from now, uh, <laughs> there's like a <laughs> we call we call it the secret task force, and like there's a group of people that go around and keep an eye out for like shady shit that goes on, and if spotted, that's just hands, and if if they catch wind of like some one or more people going around causing problems and either doing the assaulting or something adjacent or worse they just hunt you down and give you the ones and then make you leave now if you'll excuse me i have papers to grade i bet you do have papers to grade huh covering up Solid and shit sensei, please i'm trying to help you lady clock tonight i'll be at plage on izazaki road hey, you got it i'm there we'll finally have a real talk something like that I'm there. Yeah, people people get a little too a little a little too crazy at conventions and stuff. Like one of one thing that I used to hear people say is that it was always people that have like no real social skills going to 
conventions and events and causing problems and stuff. But that's not entirely true. There are people with social skills and a capacity to hold a conversation that caused fucking problems and shit. Where are you? (laughs) They're at the top of our bar crawl, that's where. Video to- I want to go to Tokyo Game Show one day. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had Maybe. to get back to the office. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to a Tokyo Game Show when uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3 gets announced. I pretty much took it out, man. Anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. Meeting oh, I want to go to Momocon too. God I've always it, been wanting to go to that convention. Today. One day Just it'll happen. Down. This is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we headed? Come on, you think I need a drunk co-pilot? Knock one back for me, though. <laughs> I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Doc. <laughs> God, I love Kaito so much. Okay, I have some free time, so naturally, I am going to get off, well, not that, not that way. I'm going to get off school premises and go fight somebody, because why not? But first, skateboard. I hit the sidewalk. Wait, hold on. There's a fight. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I thought I thought the car was gonna stop. <laughs> oh okay. Alright. That was funny. Come on. Come on. Goodbye. Then stay down. Ah. Okay, let me see. Uh good time to expand so much throughout the years. Ooh, a trip to Europe sounds cool. I think I'm told this on stream before, but had some things in my life gone differently, more specifically my mom not preventing this from happening, I would probably be in Europe right now and finishing up my film student degree, or I'd probably have it by now. Hi! Your guard's gonna break eventually. Goodbye. Where's the other one at? Hi. You can leave. <laughs> now, where's your buddy at? Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a waste. Lovely. Alright. Can I get the next? I cannot. Not right now, anyway. Um. I should get that. Uh. 
Uh, that. And... A thousand points. I'll hold those. I'm going to 2025. Yeah, like, hmm. I I want to go to more conventions. That's not to say that I haven't been to like a ton of conventions. I've been going to conventions since uh 2015, pretty much. And there's just so many more that I want to go to before I kick the bucket, you know? Uh, Momocon is definitely on- Shit! Alright, Momocon is definitely on that list, though. Hello? <laughs> really, guys? Get at least somewhat closer to my destination. Wait. Oh, I made a mistake coming this way, didn't I? I sure did. Oh, jeez. Yeah, especially since I have on um, the, uh... What's this shit called? The haptic feedback stuff on the controller? Yeah, I really feel it when Yagami falls. I almost went face first into that damn taxi. Wait, a fight! Hi! Goodbye. Here we go. Man, the the leapfrog takedown is my favorite one. Let's play fight. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what a waste. That's totally not what I do when I go to the gym and I need to hit something. The punching bags, not the actual people. I remember being on... Uh... I... I know very little about uh, that Kina game, but... Oh, oh. my trigger finger broke. Oh. Damn! Ow! Hey, hey! Oh, hey, Yagami. Yagami, get up! Wait your turn, bro. Come on. And Mega Man slide! Really, guys? You love to see it. You really do. One thing that I really like about Lost Judgment in comparison to normal found judgment, uh, you don't have to be in boost mode to switch styles mid combo. That's like my favorite thing. Which means I can get so much more closer to making it look like I'm playing Devil May Cry. <laughs> Wait, item. Now, do I be funny and jump into ongoing traffic? Yes. Because my destination is right here. Okay. Yeah, I like the haptic feedback stuff. Yagamishi, how was school? It gives wasn't happy the controller vibration. Solo, you know. Eh, feature more purpose, I guess. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice skin to law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Yes. Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? 
Very important. So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Mm-hmm. Fascinating. If not perplexing. Yeah. And its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? I just realized... I could so easily cosplay Yagami, I just need some white sneakers. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the I need to buy some white fine. sneakers before I go to this convention. If memory serves, he was a third year student who hung himself at home. And maybe do a little the bit of, of the deceased. <laughs> parting from my locks. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, huh. nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So, I was right before. Oh, so I should have asked this, like, a long, long time ago, when I started stream. Nothing is too loud, is it? Myself included. And I asked that because... Again, with me streaming off my PS5, I don't have any of my noise gates. I don't have any of my sound, microphone, software stuff. It's just raw. Audio is good? Alright, perfect. The only other issue is that because I don't have my noise gates, if there's any, like, background noise that's going on, and I don't, like, hit the mute button right away, it's gonna be on stream. But that's, uh, that's kind of like a me problem. Anyway, I'm glad to know that the audio is good. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. Thought I'd fix this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> like the fucking Perhaps the crime tracker in the Spider-Man games? But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. The whole city. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a real trip. You pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep. And this system I've developed is a souped-up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? <laughs> We'll start with just Still think the to use on I actually actually love that so much <laughs> these posts are all cuz um uh right. what what, what am i looking for Gincho, each specific post was made so my ai constantly combs through chatter uh paying respects to you know the language itself only the as much as they can the i guess so it actively seeks out trouble that's wild that you can program around such a vague concept well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah, since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have yeah, to Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. 
But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. Hey, you got it, bro. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> I will get it done. You sure crack that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honor? Man, I wish I had right nine ahead. monitors. You know what I could do with nine monitors? Edit nine videos at the same and damn time. Should do it. At the there cost of whatever rig I'm using, like screaming for its life. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm. This is indeed asking for your rig to remote exactly. This is entropy in like, like this won't do it, it all. would be it would be Solve peak this, productivity, but who we simplify our search. I would not be surprised if my room was just haunted with the screamings of all day. I do it for us. No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. Who would do the Kendrick? <laughs> narrow these results down any further. True. On instincts, experience, and even inspiration. Oh, so you're saying oh that'd be so funny. <laughs> Precisely. But then again, at the same time, I could watch like nine streams at the same time. You know, I could watch. Well, there's no way I could watch nine YouTube videos at the same time. But I can do so many things with nine monitors. It would be fantastic. Would that ever happen, though? Uh, I would have to move my setup just a little bit. And let's filter our results. Well, actually, no, not a little bit. I have to and there you have it. move to See, a another side of my room. Keyword usage on this street here. As because sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely the way old fashioned eyeballs. The way my room is Shady set up that I stream in. Uh the way so that ceiling is kind of slanted. Uh nine monitors would be a problem. Right up my alley. <laughs> Unless I would like I can already mount the top there, three on the slant of the wall and then secure them in places so that they don't just the fall My heart rate is already while they're just hanging out up there. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. But at the same time, all that requires money. Can't always be glued to your phone, money that right? is that a sonar it's gun? It's a high end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. Holy! A sound collector, huh? Why do you have this? You use this to pick up crops for help, <laughs> or even anyway, all over town. Yeah, that requires That's money that I don't have. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a troubled terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Cool. Okay, I got a new toy. Use gadgets to find the arachnid man. Okay. Watching five anime at once be absolutely fucking amazing okay so I need to be going that way however there's a fight right here so I'm gonna go fight and don't get hit by traffic oh oh hey bozos how are you doing? I love how bro just stood there and let me do all that. And stay down. Okay. You know, I would say I wish I could skateboard on the sidewalk, but from experience, skating on ground like that is not very fun. 
just the same way this guy is cowering for his life. Bye bye now. What a waste. Okay. Now I can skateboard. Okay, maybe not. You have to catch me if you want to fight me, bro. I wish I could hit a pop shove it from that high up. With like just going at ground speed. I can hear it. Fall. On. How the fuck? How did you find yourself in this situation, bro? I need, I need answers, and I need them now. And on the subject of needing things, uh, I looked over at OBS and ads are gonna start in like a minute, just so that you all know. Uh, Yag Yagami. Okay, there you go. Keep 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 going. Come on. I'm I'm so interested to know how how my man has found himself in this situation. Excuse me. I saw you from below. I came to help by climbing up exactly where you are. Please. Excuse me. All right, well, got that guy down safely. Geogamy. Yep. That is a name. By the way. <laughs> he was stealing shit, weren't you, boy? Hmm? Bird watching? Really, oh. bro? Okay, interesting. If you're a bird watcher, shouldn't you know this?
Oh, since it just crossed my mind, um, tomorrow, assuming I am able to stream tomorrow, which I hope that I am, um, instead of playing Judgment, or Lost Judgment, I hope to be playing the new DLC that's coming out for Sonic Frontiers, because, and I'm gonna have to blitz my way through the game, because it's on sale on... Uh, PlayStation because of Tokyo Game Show sale and while I do have it on Steam when mm -hmm. I streamed it the first time when it came out uh, my laptop was streaming the game and I was playing the game at between 12 to 20 FPS and uh, I don't want to do that again so even though DLC is free um, I hope to have that be the plan for tomorrow. What should I be observing here? My bro- No! Dog! Are you si- So this is why they call him Arachnid Man, huh? Fucking panty thief ass. Man, you need your ass beat. This is, uh... Are those hers? Uh... No! No! Wow! I see. Professor Pant, are you dead ass? No way. Oh yeah. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You des you deserve to get punched out, bro. Come on, swing, I dare you. Yeah, that's right. Come on, get up. Get up. Jackass. Fuck wrong with you, boy. That, yeah, this side story in Judgment 1 was, uh, something else, I'll say that much. Something else indeed. Anywho. No. 
Yep. Yes, I am. Please. Well, that's a good case was all. Neat. Hit the town and test a new toy. I got that done. So what's next? Return to the spot. All right. Uh, what can I buy in here? The good stuff. What is this? Oh, wow. Ooh. Hmm. I do like an increase to my SP gain, so I will buy that. Whoa, that is expensive! For a single drink? Yo! Are you tweaking? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's worth it, like, gameplay-wise, but damn! Relax! Uh, good on those. Arigatou gozaimashita. And I will put in my funny little contact lenses. Ooh. That's a lot. What can I get over here? Oh. No, I I want my counters. And I gotta save up a little bit more for that. Because fucking I hate that I didn't keep the tiger drop, and apparently this is the tiger drop. And I gotta uh, I want it so bad. But hey, if I can get it with this. I'll take it. Uh, wait a minute. So I can use this to look for stuff to do, right? Or maybe not yet. Wait, that's not what I want to do. Why does it send me over there? Oh. Oh. Let's go inspect this. Seems like guy is trying to leave without paying. And we don't do that around these parts. Okay. If you're gonna go to an establishment, you should pay your fee. Ah, uh, wait, I missed my turn. Damn it. I would have been able to skate here anyway. Would this be a good excuse to use my little. Gadget thing. Well, I ain't seeing nothing. Nothing important, no way. Maybe I gotta do it over here? Oh, that was nice. Nothing. Sorry, lady. Here? Somebody talking about not paying for they shit? This motherfucker? Is it you? Or maybe just because I'm here, that doesn't mean that there's an event for me to do? Maybe not. Oh well. You don't say Wait, pancakes. 
starving. Pretty tasty, thanks. Arigatouzaimashita. Alrighty. Let us go home. Thanks for letting me use the car as a springboard. Okay. Hello, I'm back. Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Oh, it's Correct. raining outside. You make use of the system often, if you could. I thought I heard something weird. Acquiring keywords. Like Final Fantasy 2? Hmm. Cool. I know this is a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. So if you ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Maybe. Hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. All right. Huh? The body model in a science room just ran down the... Bitch, what in the corpse party? Hold on. Y'all playing. What is this, bro? Nah, let me go see what that is real quick. And then we'll go meet up with the teacher that fucking hates us. Sorry, lady. I got a job to do. Oh! <laughs> okay, get up, Yagami. Come on. If I can tank being hit by a car, you can tank being hit by a car. And that is not a joke. I have tanked being hit by a car before. Hate that for him. <laughs> I think I've told the me getting hit by a car story on the stream. No, I know I have. I just haven't told it recently. My speed. Goofy. Come on. Alright, let you have that one. Alright. Really, guys? Okay, what's the deal with this fucking body? Is this what he needs to be talking to? This is not what I came here for. Uh, 
Oh, this is what I came here for. Okay. Watch this be some Five Nights at Freddy's bullshit. Now, if I were a body that was seemingly roaming the... Well, okay, it's right over there. Open that. Run over this way. Wait, huh? Oh, there's the door. Bitch, what? Huh? Nah, dog. I'm about to leapfrog drop that thing so hard, bro. <laughs> Oh, this would be great do as like a Halloween themed uh, side case. Where you at? There it is. I can hear it. Are you sleep? Go home. It's like like eight something at night. What are you doing here? Anyway, there it is. Hey, bro, what you doing? Hey. What in the Resident Evil? Oh, stop. Stop it. Y'all. <laughs> they think they slick. This is such an obvious callback to the to the first time you see the zombie. Enemies in Resident Evil 1 in the match? Get out of here, bro. You just let them run? Like that? Hey, a chase mission! You won't get away. Come here, boy. Nope. What did you just throw at me? You just threw his heart at me. Oh. You're not gonna get away from me, bro. Now a kidney? I better catch him before he donates any more organs. Oh, I love this chase song. Oh, I almost hit the wrong direction. You can't keep running forever, bro. I've been doing this for years. You're not getting away from me. You won't get away. Come on. That's why you getting tired, ain't you, boy? Nope. Come on, you're almost done. Gotcha, you little bastard. Now what the hell are you doing, bro? Hey. Hmm.
Hey. Yeah, explain yourself real quick before you get the hands put on you. Hmm. Really? Okay. No. No way. Who? Interesting. If anything, kid, you inconvenienced me. Oh, that got resolved. I will talk to him uh, some other time. Don't do it. Save it for later. I was eyeing that interaction real hard. But no, it can wait. Because I have a story to do. And also, for those that don't have a PS5, uh, I remember saying a long, long time ago that the only reason I'd bother getting one was gonna be for, uh, 7 Rebirth, Final Fantasy 16 and Spider-Man. Uh, now I have found so many more reasons to have one. And this being one of them. Because apparently Lost Judgment is PS5 only? I mean, if you don't have a PC, because... I don't know, is... I don't know if this is on PC or not. Hey, I'm talking. What's your turn? Um, I don't know if this is on PC. Like, I know... I'm pretty sure Judgment 1 is on PC. Well, I don't know if Lost Judgment is on PC. Come on! Wait a minute, I have grabs. Hey, come here! <laughs> My destination is close by and there's enemies so I'm going to fight them first you're not getting away from me hi
Come on. Come on. Bye. And stay down. Okay. Can I get one of the boxer counters now? No, not yet. Hello? Let's get out of here. What's your problem? What the hell? Okay, double wielding chairs? All right, Yagami. Well, so much for that. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> Sawa Sensei, isn't it? Who the fuck is this? Stereo High School, Class Two Two. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Is that the Jingua Mafia? Am I dealing with the G? No. No. You guys don't say much, do you? I recognize that voice a little bit. You better start talking. Because we are in Eugene Show right now. And this is where they do sh- Oh boy. Let's go. Here we go. Ah. Goodbye. And the mask will protect your face. Come on. Come on. You can do something? Goodbye. I'm good. I'm great. Really? Just now? You want to keep going? I'm going to lose it. This is a Jingguan that I'm dealing with, bro. Yo. Who the fuck is this? Need a hand with these guys? Huh? Huh? Good job holding them back on your own. Dude. You're not the only hero here. Uh, uh, what? I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching from inside, man. You were watching the whole. Okay, bro. Get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's done. Hey, hold on. Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you. I'm a better fighter than this guy. Are you sure about huh? that? I don't appreciate that from you, bro. Fuck. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. I needed answers Thanks from them. them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. You fucking ruined it, bro. 
Um, can I help you? I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Nah, she's gone. Oh, no, she's not. Sensei. Are you okay? Hi. Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can say. What do you mean? I can't tell you anything you don't already no, know. No, 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 no. You're not gonna ask me to come out here, and I'm not gonna fight off, like, ten-something dudes just for you to be like, I can help you. No. What happened? What happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. The whole Mikoshiba Kun case. Too bad. And then she said that you need to do the same. That's not my problem. I got answers to find. Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no. Then she told me I should give you this picture. And who is this a picture of? Huh? This is Miko Shiba. What? I'm so sorry, but I, I'm leaving. Wait. I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop. I'm trying to help you. To do with this. If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. Uh, There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. You weren't trying to help me from the beginning, to be fair. Shit. Quick search. Suspicious. What the? Well, I can tell you you're in an abandoned fucking building. Hey. So no regular fucking place like this. What the? Huh. What the hell did he do to get his ass kicked like that? No, wait, that couldn't be the Jingwan. There's no way. Because they were mostly dealt with in Like a Dragon, so... Nah, that couldn't be them. It shouldn't be them. Still so many unanswered questions. You got that right. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Leoman. Oh. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? But wait! We dealt with the Liumong in... In Like a Dragon too. so... Oh, uh, I guess it kinda did. Uh, huh. Okay. Pretty much. Well, anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town, but you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? Mm, I've got a hunch, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tight wad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? No. You didn't, actually. A handyman? 
It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. Okay, bro. Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective. Comro Joe. You don't get your what motherfucking hand off me. Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name. Who the fuck are you? you? Say, Sorry, Kuana, I made a bit of a oh, Who does this bro think he is? <laughs> who? Who does bro think he is? Yo, I will I will fight him right now. Fuck nigga. I I <laughs> Okay, bro. Sorry, Kuan. Eh, if he don't shut the hell up. Exactly how high up the food chain is a handyman in this town. I'm just trying to teach you some manners. I'll teach you my fist. People let you teach manners around here? Do I actually get to fight him? Can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, game. Welcome back. Get up. Get up. Now that's fancy. How's this? Hey, what else you got? Oh, oh, he took. Okay, uh, all right, all right, all right, bro. See, not, now you're talking shit. Now you're talking shit. Yeah, back up. Back up, boy. Yeah, what? Who, who do you think you are, gang? Sit down. Please, sit down. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you think you are, bro. Punk ass boy. Ooh. Better than I was expecting. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Talking to me like I'm crazy. Hey, you want to tone it down? Or you want another lesson? I will happily fight you again, bro. I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. That's just who I am. Come on. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. Damn it. What the? Sugiyura-kun? You know each other? 
after we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. Talking shit to the wrong guy. Punk ass boy. I really wonder how the boss was in guiding like Dragon Age. Seriously? How <laughs> a couple of all I all I know is that there, in my opinion, there is not a singular bad song in these games. And uh, when I stream them, my headphones are going to be at full volume the entire time. Grown ass men end up bickering like that. He started it. I was just finishing what he started. Yeah. And you can thank Sugiura kun here that you're still standing. Really? How do you even know this guy? Really? Uh, Kawana-san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. Yeah, we found that out already. Of connections both above and below ground. So, definitely a higher tier of service than us. I'll still put him in the dirt. Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. Bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugira kun knows his manners. I don't... Mmm, I don't like this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Settle down. So talk. Who were those idiots back there? Kuwana-san says they're a gang. The Yokohama Liumang. Specifically, Liumang assassins, called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah, they just didn't know who they crossed. Hold up. Assassins? Why would someone put a hit out on Yagmi-san? Well... Maybe they were just out to scare you. I mean, I doubt even the Liumang would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds. Whatever the case, can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead. No can do. Even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Uh huh. Good news is you can hire them yourself too. Want me to hit them up for you? No thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man oh man, what kind of shit did you step in? The right kind. Are you gonna make a mess in this town? I want in. No. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. Kaito. Well, having someone around who knows the ins and outs of a gene show, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white He cracks? didn't. <sighs> he didn't save my ass. Hold a stick out, buddy. I can tell he's cool. Yo, want to grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on, and I'm getting round two. <laughs> See? I knew you were half bad. God damn it. Wait, wait. You don't mean now, do you? You coming with, Chuck? Nah, not tonight. I'm heading back to the agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss. As they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. Uh-huh. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Except maybe a little more fancy. <laughs> it's like we're already old friends. Okay. Ah? <clears throat> What the hell? Yeah, that's the extract guy. Hey! Yeah. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Capitalism. Okay. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Gotcha. I got this. Ooh. 
damn. All right, that was easy. <laughs> I'll be there, old timer. I need a bunch of random junk huh. and the list of the junk that I need. <laughs> I need all of this. To make that. Okay. Have that already. Fifty K just for that? Wow. Tree trunk legs? Interesting. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, can I leave? Can, can I leave? Studies. Interesting. Ah, I see. Oh. Hmm. Does that mean? Hmm. Hmm. So. They just want me to find stuff and be their guinea pig, pretty much. <laughs> yep. Okay. That will be done later. Uh, 
Okay. This is considered a sidewalk? Huh. Anywho, hey! I did not mean to break that sign. Who's the fastest way back to the... Mm, far. Okay. Hi! Goodbye. I wish I could send people flying like that in real life. Life would be a lot easier for me if I could do that. Ah! Damn it. Shiny, what's that? Excuse me. You talking shit? Goodbye. Really, guys? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Come here. Come here. Hi. <laughs> I love doing that. Really, guys? Man, this game is awesome. I'm so happy I, I I'm happy I'm a Yakuza fan, period, but I'm happy that I let uh curiosity get the better of me. Cause um like, like, in all honesty, the only reason why I'm playing this right now is because, uh, I had a real, real strong itch to replay the Sly Cooper games, which I've been doing, but because there's no way for me to get them physically for cheap anymore, and my, the discs that I have for them on my PS2, they don't really work, so, um, I upgraded my PlayStation Plus to PlayStation Extra, and that's how I've been playing them, and then... This and Judgment 1 also just came with that. So, yeah. It all worked out for me. It's hard to imagine. And you're saying Sawa-sensei was given this picture? Right. And it must have really shaken her up. She wouldn't even stick around to have a chat. Some mysterious woman handed her the photo. She's got to be linked to Hiromika Shiba's murder in one way or another. If I had to guess, she's working with or for Ehara, but I couldn't tell you how they're connected. It might even be that she's the one who hired the Yokohama Leomon to attack you at that restaurant. If they're telling you to drop the Mikoshiba case, they're connected too. <laughs> a threat like that might have worked on a run-of-the-mill detective in over his head. But how do you think you even got on their radar at all, Yagamishi? 
Great question. Mikoshiba's case is so big they needed hired muscle to stop you? If I'm that much of a thorn in their side, the police investigation is worse. Yeah, that's true. Even if they stop you in your tracks, Kanagawa police would just pick up the trail right where you left off. I have to figure. I'm not the one they were really there to threaten into staying silent. It was Sawa-sensei. Four years ago, when Toshiro Ihara killed himself, apparently, she thought Mikoshiba was the one bullying him. I set up that meeting with her so she could tell me more about what really happened at the time. But as of now, someone's pretty bent on making sure she doesn't reveal that. That'd be my guess. Well, if that's the case, I'm afraid their threats were actually pretty effective. Mm -hmm. Sawa sensei's lips are sealed now. There's not much we can really do about it. Don't worry. I'm not near done yet. Besides, they've already made one big mistake. Yeah? They hired a gang thinking they could scare a detective off the scent. No way in hell they're expecting me to double down even harder on it. You're totally right. That was a rather massive oversight on their part. That night, the news broke on every channel and across the internet that the corpse found in Ijincho had been identified. Every student, teacher, and faculty member at Serio High School would know how Hiro Mikashiba died. The details were heartbreaking, and a lot of lives were about to be turned upside down. Oh! I was not expecting to get the uh, two chapters done today. Wow. Uh, let's see. I will. I'll play like the the summary thingy for three, and then that'll be it for me. Now, I don't really know if I can do raids off of a PS5, which I'm hoping is just as simple as typing the command and then the name of the channel that I want to go to. But, um, I'm going to do that, but first I'm going to let this play. The alleged bully, Hiro Mikashiba, turns up dead. There is no mistaking the motive in his murder. As Yagami looks into the heart of the matter, a suicide four years prior. He is met with brutal backlash from the underworld. Why does Yagami face resistance at every turn? As night falls over Ichincho, the answer slips further into darkness. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you had a good time while you were here. Hello. You've reached Serio yes. High School. Ah, uh, yes. It's tragic news. Miko Shibakun was one of our student teachers here, and the school is coping with it as best we can. Oh, boy, this is a problem. Yes, our parents and guardians have every right to be upset about this. Yes. Oh, yes. Now to the murder victim found in Izazaki Ijingsho. Yes. Authorities announced that they have identified the body as Hiro Mikoshiba, a student teacher at Seirio High School. Autopsy reports indicate the cause of death was blood loss from a sharp object. Mikoshiba was reported oh. as a missing person two months So, what's the plan today, fellas? Honest, this hangover is kicking my ass. I'm gonna be kind of useless. Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. Maybe don't drink until sunrise. Well, that's no good. Without you, Kaito-san, who's going to be the brains of this whole operation? <laughs> You'll have to manage, man. I figure I'll head back to Serio High today. I should check in on Sawa-sensei, see how she's holding up. She's got a lot on her shoulders now, huh? Man, I've typed in the she's command like twice, and it's just not cooperating. So, um... Right from the outset, unfortunately, flat out I won't be Toshiro reading... But then we learned she confronted him about his actions four years or ago. Maybe if I refresh she my... To suspect he was the bully. Maybe if I type it in on my laptop instead of my phone? Threats, and suddenly, teacher's lips are sealed shut, huh? Whoever she was, she has to be involved with the murder. 
How else could she have Mikoshiba's picture from right before he died? It's almost like the killer was trying to hide any trace of bullying. And if so, that's pretty bizarre. Why is that? I mean, if Mikoshiba really was the bully, why bother covering that up? Wouldn't it work in their favor if word of that spread? That way the murder would be, I don't know, more justified? Oh, well. Yeah, I do see the logic there. Okay. I'll get it resolved at some point. Is, why would Sawa Sensei change her answer like that? Have you considered she may have been pressured to hide the truth? Perhaps by an overcautious superior? I wouldn't put it past Chairman Okuda to pull something like that. I doubt he has that kind of sway over her, though. Sawa Sensei doesn't exactly mince words with him. Guess we'll have to ask her directly if we really want to know. Yeah, but didn't she make it pretty clear you need to keep your distance? So? What kind of a detective would I be if I gave up because of that? <laughs> Point taken. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, sure is. Help me kick this damn hangover. Uh, say what? Might as well hang back, Sugira. Only I can get in and out of the school without raising a red flag right now. Okay. So with that established, I'm gonna press the save button. And... Like I mentioned earlier, hopefully... I can stream... Without issue, tomorrow. Because the... Uh... The long-awaited Sonic Frontiers DLC drops, and I am going to stream that. Again, it'll be off my PS5, so no model, no overlay, no anything like that. But with that established, I've been your host, I've been your homie, I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all be smooth, and thank you for hanging out. And thank you again for the raid, Blaze. I will see y'all later. Take care.